Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use networking in Godot 4. To get started, make sure you already have a player instance. If you do, go ahead, create a new script. Now, let's create some buttons. Create one for hosting and one for joining. Now, let's connect these. First, connect the host, then the joining. Finally, Let's add in a multiplayer spawner in here. We will assign the path to our root. You can assign it to anything you want. However, I'm just going to do root for this video. Now in the script, let's create a new variable called peer. This will get enet multiplier peer dot new. Let's add a export node, sorry, export variable. Call it player scene. This will be our player. It'll be a packed scene. And let's also reference our camera. Because we will have to disable this once we switch over. Next in our host button, let's create a peer.create server. Here we will put our port. I'll just do one, two, three. We'll do multiplayer dot multiplayer peer. We'll get our peer. We'll do multiplayer dot peer connected dot connect add player. We don't have this yet, so you'll get a temporary error, but we will add it in just a second. Add player. And cam dot enabled will get false. Now let's go ahead and add that add player function. This will get an ID that will default to one. Our variable player will get player scene dot instantiate. Our player dot name. We set to an str of the ID and we'll do call underscore deferred add child player. And while we're at it, let's create the delete player. So for when someone disconnects function delete underscore player, we'll get ID run an RPC called underscore delete player with our ID. And down here, we will at RPC, any peer, call local function, delete player ID. And we will get node str id dot q free so what this will do it'll send out a server-wide request saying that hey this player needs to be deleted here's their id and if it receives it it'll go okay deleting that id and then let's add in a function just called exit game so have our id in it And we will do multiplier dot here disconnected dot connect will be set to our delete player function. And then we will call it right here with our ID. Now for the joining button here dot create client here, you'll put your address your IP address. So for now, I will just do the local IP address. But if you're going to be doing a dedicated server, you'll obviously have to change this and pass in our port multiplayer underscore peer dot multiplayer peer. We'll get peer and cam dot enabled 
false. Now head back over to our multiplayer spawner, go to auto spawn list, add in an element. Let's do player. And in our main function, the player scene, we'll get our scene. Now heading over to the player, add in a multiplayer synchronizer. Here you can add any properties you want. For now, I will just be doing the player position. This will automatically replicate the player across all clients. In here, let's create a function called enter tree. It will set multiplayer authority to name dot to int. And in here, we will only run this code if is multiplayer authority. This is because we don't want to be controlling other other nodes. We only want to be controlling our player. Finally, upon entering the tree, our camp dot enabled will be set to is multiplayer authority. Now, if we go to debug, run multiple instances, you can select how many you want to run. I'll do two for now. I press play. If I host and I join, you will see that we have working multiplayer. And if I leave, it'll leave on both sides. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.